What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Got a video for you guys this afternoon. This is going to be a very short but succinct prediction for this upcoming bout between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Vicious Victor Ortiz. So the WBC Welterweight Championship takes place on pay-per-view on HBO on September the 17th. Not sure where, where it's going to be. I don't know if the venue has been announced yet. I know it more than likely will not be in Dallas, Texas, Arlington, Texas, to be specific. But overall, it's, um, it's going gonna, it's it's gonna to be a decent fight, I think. It's going to be a good fight. On paper, it's a good fight. Victor Ortiz, a young, um, a young um, hungry fighter. Um, pretty much, pretty much with Victor Ortiz, he's pretty much you know been at the lowest point of his career so far when he lost to Marcos Maidana. Um, when a fight that you know he definitely could have won, but he showed his flaws in that fight. Um, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. he hadn't been in the ring in about a year now, over a year about. By now, like 14 months hidden, hidden. Uh, excuse me, 13 months hidden, 14 months now. By the time of the fight, it's gonna hit about 16 months. So, you know, the inactivity on um, Floyd Mayweather may be a factor, but also we all know that Floyd Mayweather does stay in shape in between, you know, in between fights or in between, you know, his periods of inactivity. But. You know, I was hoping that the fight was in Texas or in Arlington. We knew that wasn't going to happen anyway. As you can tell, I got my Maverick shirt on right now. So, sorry Miami fans. But we all know that the Mavericks were the better team. No, no need to shit talk because I don't even watch much basketball. I really don't care for the sport all too much. I only watch during the playoffs because Dallas is always in it these days. Or the Lakers. I'm more of a Lakers fan anyway. I'm a bandwagon fan of the Mavericks. But anyway, let's get back to the point. Um, this is a boxing channel. If I want to talk basketball, I talk about basketball. So let's get back to the point. Um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Vicious Victor Ortiz. This is my breakdown of the fight. Um, pretty much in this fight, it's a, it's pretty much it's going to be youth versus experience. That's definitely what it is on paper. But also on paper... Technically, it's it's more so skill versus aggression, and the aggression of Victor Ortiz, I think, won him the last fight against Andre Burrell. If you're able, if you're looking at the if you look at the fight closely, if you observe it, you know he continues continuously comes inside, but Andre Burrell was letting him come inside. Andre Burrell wasn't pretty much going for little power power counter shots. Or um or anything, he had his rounds where he fought in spurts and won those rounds. But overall, Victor Victor Ortiz was bigger, and he was able to to overpower Andre Burrow um, in this fight. You know he he didn't, but also something that I did notice that Floyd Mayweather Mayweather will more than likely expose is the fact that he does not use a jab. In the Marcus Maidana fight, almost two years ago, um on Sun. On Sunday or or actually Monday, two years ago on Monday, when he fought Marcos Maidana, he continuously led in with the hook, and that and that left hook lead that he tries to lead in with is pretty much what lost him the fight. Even though he stood there and traded with him, he could have stood there and traded with Marcos Maidana, but he had he didn't set up those shots. He continuously led in with the hook, and he didn't. You know, set up the hook. He just continuously led up. You know, led in with that shot, and in the Andre Berto fight, he he continuously led in with the hook again. But with Andre Berto, he was able to get away with it due to the fact that he hurt Berto, knocked him down, and pretty much you know he was he he found his way inside, and he got enough room for it. You know, he got enough room to throw that that left hook. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I cough. I've been dealing. I've actually have a throat infection, but other than that, um, Victor Ortiz does make the same mistakes that he made a couple years ago. He just does not face fighters that can exploit those mistakes the same way that Floyd Mayweather can. Floyd Mayweather's Floyd Mayweather throws, you know, a very good left hook himself. Throws a throws a very good straight right hand, um, and most of the time he doesn't even have to lead him with the jab. He doesn't, 
you know, most of the time when he's countering, that shot just comes over the top. And it's like a lot of stuff that he does is automatic. Um, and I'll just break down um, what they need to do to win. Um, Vicious Victor Ortiz in this fight, from round to round, is going to have to throw a lot of punches. Even though many have went in and th threw a lot of punches against Floyd Mayweather, um, with Victor Ortiz, Victor Ortiz is going to get a second win. Um, look at the Burlo, if you look at the Burlo fight, um, Victor Ortiz, was. it looked like in round like six, he was getting tired, but after round six, he came back and... You know, and he and he continued, and he went back, and he continued to pressure Andre Berto. Um, Floyd Mayweather does fight well off the ropes. He does fight well at the center of the ring. So he has to use the. So Victor Ortiz is going to have to try to move Floyd Mayweather to different parts of the ring. Um, not necessarily set up traps for him, but necessarily just have him move across the ring. You know, move. You know, try to. You know, use his. I think in this fight, the jab is going to be important. Um, especially being that he's a southpaw, but even though he's a southpaw, Floyd's best punch is more than likely his straight right hand that he throws from the outside, from a not from the outside, but from a mid-range. And also how he positions his lead foot, he kind of curves it and turns it a little bit. He has a wide base to where he can easily counter fighters. Um, you just look at the angle that he's in, that's what makes it easier for him to counter fighters. So in this fight, Victor Ortiz pretty much wants to get inside the lead foot. It's a, get inside the lead foot. Um look you know, look for um, openings at the body, go to the body, continue you know, try to outwork Floyd Mayweather. Um he has pretty much it's all about work in this fight. It's all about work. Um and he and the difference between Victor Ortiz and fighters like a Zab Judah and and even Oscar Del Hoya is that Victor Ortiz is younger and he'll get a second win. Not only that, he's going to be the bigger man coming into the fight. Um, and, like, you know, a lot of, you know, I think a lot of pressure could possibly beat Floyd Mayweather if he can fight from round to round, from bell to bell, and have a, have a tremendous work, work rate. I think he can actually win the fight if he can work from round to round and he gets that second win and, and pretty much tries to beat Mayweather to the punch, which is going to be hard to do. It's going to be hard to execute, but also Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd Mayweather, as I mentioned, has a wide base. He can turn punch, you know, he can turn away from punches. Um, it makes it easier for him to turn away from punches. That lead foot, how it's kind of curved, makes it hard for, for his opponents to land to actually land straight punches on him, because all he has to do is kind of just turn the body a little bit, and that gives him leverage to throw his, either his left hook or his straight right hand. In this specific fight against Vicious Victor Ortiz, we know that Victor Ortiz's footwork is decent, but it's not the best. He squares up. He sometimes he leaves his chin exposed. He, like I said, he leads in with the hook. Doesn't really throw the jab ball too much. Um, also, I think he's a bit slow. He's a lot slower on his feet. Um, in this fight, um, and also when he comes inside, he does tend to drop his hands. Floyd Mayweather Jr. I think is going to exploit that. He's going to use his straight right hand, which is the South Southpaw Kryptonite. I think he's going to go occasionally to the body. I think he's going to pretty much make this fight the center of the ring, counter punch, counter punching, and 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 using Victor Ortiz's aggression against him in this fight. So as you all know, I'm going to go with Floyd Mayweather Jr. in this fight by unanimous decision. I think that Floyd Mayweather. I think that Victor Ortiz's style just plays in the Floyd Mayweather's quite well. There's a good chance that Victor Ortiz could win this fight. Due to the fact that, like I said, he's younger. He's going to be bigger come fight night. And also with him being bigger and, and being younger, he will get a second win compared to Zab Judah and Oscar De La Hoya. Other opponents that have tried to outwork Floyd Mayweather. All Floyd, Like I said, Floyd does well at taking the jab away. And in this fight, you know, he it's something that he doesn't necessarily have to worry about all too much. Um, he's, you know, Ortiz isn't going to keep him at the end of a jab. He's not going to use the jab to set anything up. He's going to come forward and he's going to try to fight with Mayweather. And if Ortiz can make Mayweather fight him, then that would be, that would be, um, that would definitely be good. But I don't think Mayweather is going to fight Ortiz. I think he's going to have a pure onslaught boxing match. 
and when the fight 